Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today we're doing reading for Sound of Aquarius. And keep in mind that this won't resonate for every Aquarius. If you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. Repeat that first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find my show things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things there in my Etsy shop in the description down below. So if you go check that out, go and go buy something, really appreciate that. Currently have a sale going on. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. And if you like donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Aquarius. Aquarius, red roses. Red roses. Pocket full of roses. Okay, so. Let's say some prayers. First, we have number 36. Goddess of the Night. That is not the card we're reading, but that is what I have gotten in the phrase in my head. I don't know what that means to you, but something important there. It says, Beloved Kali, I call upon your divine feminine wisdom and the divine masculine power that arises to protect it. With discernment, strength, and courage. I ask for your assistance in all ways, including your blessings of spiritual and material prosperity. May I move beyond my conditioning into unobstructed authenticity and spiritual integrity. I joyfully and graciously manifest my true purpose, bringing spiritual benefit to all beings. Okay. And then we have number eight with the goddess Cornean over here. Beloved Kuan Green Tara, Goddess of the Great Divine Mother, please help me to live my light, to live my enlightenment in each day, to know my own self, and to live the beauty and bliss with the peace in my heart. Thank you for your help. I feel your peace in my heart now. May all beings feel and know this peace within. Alright, Quares, so that's the prayers. Now let's see what Spirit has in store for yourself. What is happening? We have a couple cards falling up. We have number two with Gaia, the mother. So we have Gaia here. Gaia is the earth. It's a goddess you're connecting to. We have number 18 with Poseidon, the earth shaker. So these are two gods that you're connecting with. All right, we have Poseidon and we have Gaia. We have earth, god of the sea. Oh. There's one more for Aquarius. Aquarius, if you see, um, you have two more, but if you see, like, the King of Cups appearing in your reading, that can actually be Poseidon over there. You know that? Let's put that over there. We have number 19 with Artemis. Purity. 18, 19. Number 26 with Hermes. The Message. Okay. It's number two with your first one here, Aquarius. Um... Like I said, these are the gods and goddesses that you're connecting with here. You could be receiving a lot more messages. These are a lot pure messages, okay? Well, let's read out the book to get more of a message, because I don't really use this deck that often. If you don't like me reading out the book, you can find like a different video or something. I know some people don't like it when I read out the book, but it's like, it, you know, it, it's learning. I like learning. I like reading. Always have. It says, Guy is the primal deal embodiment of the Earth. She is the mother of the Titans and the partner of Uranus. Uranus began to bury their children at the center of the Earth. Gaia became deeply distraught and convinced Kronos to overthrow his father. It says, Gaia represents the fertility of the Earth. Without her care, nothing can grow. She gives us food, warmth, and shelter, the basis for all life, and the safety and physical security necessary for us to thrive. This is the realm of the Mother. Allowing space for us to explore our inner worlds, the garden of our lives must be weeded from time to time. Some plants don't live well next to each other, and when we fail to cut off the parts of a plant that are dead, they rob energy and health from the entire plant. Gaia teaches us that when we refuse to let go, life ceases to grow. Alright, Quares, so if, you, if there's something here you're either having a hard time letting go of, or 
refusing to let go of something or something's refusing to let go of you, you need to cut that off. Like, it just, like, cut the cords. Clear space, okay? So new can't come in if you're holding on to the old Aquarius. Like, there's, there's opportunities when they need to grow. Alright, new places, new people, new things. New, 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 right? I'm letting go of the old. First. Guy's appearance in your spread indicates that this is very fertile period for you. Ideas, images, and inspiration are ready for you to plant in your world, and they will bring fruit in the future with proper care. Alright, Aquarius, see that things are going to be growing for you in that um, new month, right? And the strawberry moon coming in here. Strawberries like fruit, that's like fruition there. Your ideas, everything that you planted here, it's going to be growing, it's going to be blossoming, it's going to be harvesting. You understand what I'm saying here? This card can also indicate a connection to something greater than yourself. This is a time for taking care of school, family, your health, and your personal space. This is a period of nurturing the ground for the future. Once these areas are stable and secure, you will have the fertile ground necessary for creating anything you want in your life. You see that, Aquarius? Tea. Earth and we have water. Poseidon is the son of Rhea and Kronos, the ruler of water, seas, and oceans. He is both the supporter of the earth and the shaker of the earth. He creates earthquakes by striking the ground with his trident. Poseidon is a quite ferocious god who demands honor and respect. He is associated with bulls and horses. Bulls were has often sacrificed him to ensure safe ocean voyages, and he is said to have created horses. Poseidon is the earth shaker. If he is dishonored, he is unstoppable in his fury. The earth may be shaking for you at this time. Old structures that are no longer useful to you are breaking down. See, the old that no longer serves its purpose to you is being washed away. Of course, it's being broken down. So the new all right, can come in. The new can flourish. Now, new knowledge is removing the foundations in which you've built your current place in life. The truth is, the old foundations no longer serve you, regardless of whether or not you feel ready to face that fact. They would not have crumbled if they were built on anything that was truly sustainable. The bigger picture may not be in sight right now, but when the time is right, the bounty of a new land will be revealed, and it will be up to you to take the next step. This is a time to clear away outdated thoughts and habits. The old house is gone, and it's time to build a new one. You may feel sad, angry, or scared, and you must allow yourself to feel all these emotions. But the truth is, this is an incredibly exciting time full of new opportunities and possibilities. Enjoy it. Ride the waves into a new phase of your life for adventure. Wait till you see that, Quartz. New phase. Here we have Artemis. Artemis, twin sister of Apollo is the daughter of Zeus and Leto. She is the goddess of the moon. We were talking about that goddess of the night, goddess of the moon. Artemis. In wild nature in women, Artemis carries a golden bow and arrows, for she is found in the wild parts of the natural realm. She is a protector of all that is pure. She is referred to as a virgin goddess because her mind will never be owned by another. She is pure and whole within herself. Says the external world often seeks to civilize us. We learn to work and be protective members of society. This often comes at the expense of our deeper selves. We disconnect from our raw intuition and instinct and thus become disconnected from life, playing the roles we think we should rather than trusting the deeper wisdom that comes within. Artemis' presence in your cards today signifies the need for you to return to the wild and the natural part of yourself, a part of you that can never be owned. You may have been acting and making decisions um, autopilot rather than focusing on what you need right now in order to restore balance. You may be rather numb and tired, restless, or feeling that there's something missing. There is something missing. You. You probably have been emotionally rooted in logic that what you can, can't, should, or shouldn't do to the degree that you are no longer sure of the direction of your life. You need to shake up your self-imposed social constraints. Most important, you need to take a risk, whether emotional, mental, physical, or spiritual. You must give up the part of yourself that is not listening to the deeper you. Only when you do that can you take the steps that will bring you back into alignment within your deeper nature, and the part of you that will not be owned. This is a time for releasing external influences and obligations and seeking out the part of yourself that is natural and pure. 
part of you that is connected to life, that knows what is right for you, the part of you that is not focused on outcomes but on the journey of life. Here you find all the answers, true wisdom, and joy. Again, Aquarius, even releasing like external influences, like things that just don't serve you, so that you become you again, Aquarius, your true self. We're 26. Hermes. Hermes is the son of Zeus in the nymph Maya. He is an extremely clever trickster by nature and a divine messenger, delivering messages for Zeus. He is a god of travelers and guides souls traveling to the underworld and the afterlife, which is the realm of Hades. He has wings on his hat, a herald's wand, and sandals. He also invented the lyre, a musical instrument. Hermes creates the bridge of communication between the worlds. He's a link between God and man, between the heavens, earth, and the other world. He's known as a trickster, a thief at the gates, a watcher in the night, and a bringer of dreams. Of all the Greek gods and goddesses, only Hermes, Hades, and Persephone have the ability to travel in and out of the underworld. Since Hermes is a trickster, and often sends messages in the form of riddles and dreams. When life trips us up, and we find ourselves on strange, perplexing journeys that unravel the mysteries of life and ourselves, this is Hermes at work. He might steal something from you, and as you look for it, you may discover a whole new world. This is a classic example of how accidents or unpleasant and strange events in your life can lead to your destiny. Countless stories tell of people finding true meaning in life after experiencing rock bottom. Messages surround you right now, but they aren't obvious. They're cryptic and may come in strange ways. But they are there. This is the time to pay close attention to signs and signals. See, there's a reading we were talking about before that was talking about signs and signals. Pay close attention to signs and signals. You are receiving messages. Alright? These are actually pure messages from these beings. And we have new things coming in. But it may not be um, direct at first. You may have to kind of like put the pieces together, Aquarius, of what they actually mean. It says it may be a good time to start a dream journal. Hermes is also the guardian of those who travel, of those who cross borders and boundaries. These include both the physical borders of home, city, and country, and the inner borders of thought, feeling, imagination, experience. New worlds are opening up to you. This may be a time for traveling to new places, expanding your horizons, or having other new experiences. It's a time for expanding your awareness through art, music, and literature philosophy and history may also expand your personal understanding of life. If you're restless and feel there is no more to life, or feel there is more to life, more to learn and experience, but don't know where to start, start where you are. Start the journey now. There are endless worlds to explore, and it's time to open up, investigate new ideas, and cross the borders of what you previously knew to be your reality. There's so much to discover, uncover, and see. The gateways of knowledge and perception are open to you now, so take a deep breath in and dive in. Remain on the outlook, for life is offering you opportunities, but you need to open your eyes and pay attention. It is likely you will be led in a strange hermetic way, through the realm of the unveiling mysteries and into amazing new worlds of experience, feeling, and thought. You need only to be open and aware. All possibilities are present in every moment. Don't get caught up in how the message comes. Just pay attention when they arrive. Of course, it's time to pay attention because there's like new opportunities and new messages coming through. Messages for you. That's beings here connecting with you. Let's get some ruins and charms for yourself. We have that of Venus, Aquarius. So Venus, Venus can be like a planet of like sensuality. It can be like planet of like love, material possessions, things like that. Alright, we have the sun beetle, which is connected, connected with the sun, the beetle, Aquarius, dragon, moon, which would be a symbol of like, um, I want to say Aquarius over here, but a symbol of Kuan Yin over here. It changes from hardship, Aquarius, there's new beginnings for need to be births there, but either you're being protected, and there's like a journey that you're on. This could be an actual journey, or this could just be a journey of your soul. So, 
that's all I have for you. And like I said, first link in the description down below. Our personal reading. Also go to my Etsy shop, go in there, go buy something, really appreciate that. And if you want to see more content, like, subscribe. Bye guys.